really hot, really ready at Eve Bud here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, eliminating the country's own AK. This is a scary situation because you got to remember, this is still two out of three. Yeah. Loser's bracket, whoever loses is out of the tournament. The pick or the initial pick for your character is huge here. Uh -huh. And we know Book, he could use a number of characters. Last time I saw him play against a really good Akuma player, he picked Akuma himself. That's that was right. against Super Akuma at CEO. What is he going to do with this situation? We already saw AK try using Akuma against Keith Butt earlier. But what's going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the, my gosh. That was his main character prior that's to right. switching to Akuma. So he is picking Steve Fox. And I think that's a strong pick because Steve Jin. against Jin. That's a matchup that, you know, Book has always struggled with in the past. That's right. And Jin in general actually has problems with this really swift character we know as Steve, you know. Counter hit player, counter hit character. Uh, this, this is going to be one for the books. And then Devil Spit nonetheless, you know. There will be walls in the beginning, first uh, couple rounds. But as soon as you hit the potential final round, it all disappears. So let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Talon Book versus Ashes at Steve Butt. Jin versus Steve. Here we go. Round one. This is awesome. Did not expect to see this pick, but right now, Steve Butt with that Steve Fox. Let's see if he's able to really keep the pressure on Book. Nice. And can I just say, Markman, that I expected none of this from either one. Oh, yeah. Right. Here we go. Good flurry of offense from both players right here. Look at this. Book doing his laundry, ladies and gentlemen. 43 seconds left on the clock, and a team butt with a running two. Gets a chunk of damage, and oh my gosh, the left hook all the way to the wall. But bad estimate, never mind. The dirty boxing does the trick, and a team butt gets round number one. Well, able to get that very, very confident, very clean as well. Oh, nice. He's going to get that. Of course. Oh, oh wow. It. Unusual jinxing of a combo right there, Markman. Here we go. What a conversion from Book, but a little shy of the wall. 50 seconds left on the clock. Oh boy. Rocket launcher doing its job here. Now Book's back is pinned against the wall. Look at this flicker harassment from a team butt. He's gonna have to be very careful here. The peekaboo attacks, the follow-up here. Just look at this pressure by the wall. A team butt yes. is all over him. And Book, he's gonna have to figure something out right now at the bottom of the stage. No walls. Again, with a counter hit there down forward two. This time getting it. That's no Akuma combo, but it's still very, very hard. Take two for a team butt right there and gets it the second time around. Here we go. No walls for either one. Nothing can help you. Here we go. The God get connecting, but a bad trade and does not favor Book at all. 45 sec seconds left on the clock. What a Sonic fan from a team butt. Here we go. Going back the other way. Here comes Book. Book with a nice combo. He has raid, so it's doing a little bit extra damage. But how is he going to deal with this? Gets the punish there. Goes for the 2-4. Unusual call as well there for a Tifa to actually. Oh my gosh! No! No! Book! That is unfortunate because he had the win right there, the win in sight. He messed up and a Tifa oh, with wow. the Sonic Drive able to capitalize. That was crazy. Oh, wow, there's something going on on stage here, ladies and gentlemen. But again, I think they, it counts as a win here, Markman. So a Tifa already in the lead. Steve Fox being the, uh, again here, the aggressor against Jin, a very calm and collected character, you know, who relies so much on reads. And just again proves too much, you know, with Steve Fox. It's, it's really an uphill battle, if I may. Oh, yeah. So, Book gonna have to go back to the drawing board here. Is it a character switch? Or is it a stage pick? What is he gonna do wow, here? Wow, it looks like a stage select, man. I don't know, I could be wrong, but. Welcome oh, it is a character select. There we go. Tournament seven. He's gonna have some options here. Look at this. Book just glancing over that entire roster. Does he have. Does he have a rabbit in the hat here, Markman? Okay, so we don't have word on what exactly is going on there, folks, but I think we're going to keep going. So Book, we know him as a Jin main from, from the get-go, Markman, yep. but he has brought out the likes of Akuma, Julia Chang, Leroy, a little bit of Fakum Ram here and there, but whoa, look at this. Very concrete with that decision of landing on Jin despite these odds. What stage, though? My goodness. It's really, it's really a play of thoughts here, Martin. Oh, oh, he oh. wants violence. He chose violence. Get ready for Soy sauce game. for geese. We're going to the <laughs> Howard Estate. You know, I, I, I believe it could go either way here, Markman. You know, these characters, not entirely too combo-centric, at least on the side of Jin, because uh, Steve Fox, without you pressing the buttons, he may not get anything started. But we know that Book, I'm pretty sure that he understands this matchup too, despite being his weakness. Here we go. 
Hope you guys those... are ready to rock. <laughs> oh, subtle cries in the background cheering on Book. Why don't you make it louder, ladies and gentlemen? Let's hear it for Book. And of course, Atif Bhatt. Give some energy to your contenders here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. Starting to off here. Atif Bhatt not missing a beat from the earlier game. Oh, this time, okay, for the follow-up here. Pushing towards the wall here. Side wall stun, unable to get any additional damage. But the position. Whoa! Wow. I love it. Nice punish there. Gonna do a ton of damage. Has the wall as well. Not gonna kill, but one mix-up could do it. Awesome stuff from Book there, Markman. I like the chase down. How many times in a tournament do you see mental alertness 1 plus 2 come into play? And what a call there from Book. Gets first round here, but it's fun. Look at this. The oppression again. Pushing Book with his back against the wall. Oh, wow. Did not punish that at all. Well, he kept standing, but a even better uh, situation from there. Got the ready to the follow-up here. Oh, and the dirty tactics to follow-up. Uh -oh. Forced Book to actually guess there, ladies and gentlemen. Originally, that would have actually knocked down. But with a new mechanic, here we go. The left hook of Atif, but landing flush flat on Book's chin. Well, Gatling gun, what's the, what's the mix-up? Tries to keep him there. Nice block there. And look at this, Atif doing such a great job. The rocket launcher looking to close it out. And that's going to be it. A perfect and one round away from closing out the set. And how important is this, ladies and gentlemen, eliminating Book from this tournament. Look at that. He attempted to go at it again. There is no risk on the side of Book here. 53 seconds left on the clock, but a team but all over Book's face, but a low parry. Here we go. Gets the wall break. The follow-up here doesn't get the extra hit, but Book is going to have to turn things up. He's in trouble. Good block and punish from Book. Here we go, taking that turn properly. 38 seconds left on the clock, and the harassment again continues from Atif, but tries to go for a hook fist, and Book kept getting hit by that last hit. What's he gonna do? Anybody's game, he's one hit, he can get the rain drop, oh! but it doesn't matter. The down two closes it out, and Atif overbooked in two very clean games. Guys, you gotta give it up. Book out of the tournament here at fifth place. In an ironic twist, my top contender is gone, Mark Linder.